Um, let's move on to one of the other stories surrounding probably one of the biggest Nike athletes ever. Lance Armstrong uh, is going to take part in a charity bike ride for a, another cancer survivor, Jeff Thomas, who's a professional footballer mm -hmm. in England. Uh, I think they're going to cycle the, the Tour de France route yep. this year. It has caused a lot of controversy. Jeff Thomas has been very firm in, in standing by Lance, and Lance has done some media recently. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, firstly, yeah, Lance is obviously the biggest jog story in modern sport, isn't he? Um, and the fact, and yes, he has raised lots, millions of pounds for charity through the Livestrong um, and through the association with Nike, and that is amazing. However, he won seven tours, it was seven tours, while he was doping, and now he's going back on the tour to ride the one or two days before the tour comes through those areas to raise money. And I I think it, that's a kick in the face to the people who's, who love watching the Tour de France, who love sport. They're going to see him. Um, what reception is he going to get from the people who are going to be watching the tour who are on the course? And I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of egg throwing or... You know, yes, he's raising money for charity, and that's amazing. However, he's doing a, he's going back on the road and, and the course where he cheated, where he stole people's um, imaginations about how far somebody, a cancer survivor, can go into sports. He's making a mockery of it, and I feel really Jeff Thomas. Um, is trying to do the right thing, but in hindsight, I think he has chosen the wrong person. That's my personal opinion. I think there's other more deserving people that could have helped him. Um, and I'm sure there's other people in sport who've survived cancer who haven't cheated to get to the, to the top and steal money from basically every kind of organisation that they've been associated with. And that's what I see job cheaters as. If they have been caught and earned a lot of money like he has, he's actually stolen. He's a thief, really, cause he, and, and he's deceived everybody. Um, um, and basically Jeff has seen the, the good in, in Lance, hasn't he, and, and his association with Livestrong. And obviously Livestrong and their aunts aren't together, are they? So um, I just find it all a bit strange. Um, and I just wish he would just go away and go back to Texas and just live the rest of his life without being involved in sport and whatsoever. I think the interesting thing with Lance Armstrong is that whatever has happened, whatever anyone's opinion of him, he is possibly one of the most competitive fighters that's been in sport. He has an incredible mentality. Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe doing this and cycling back on the, on the Tour de France circuit is a bit of a punch back from him to almost say to those people, I can, I'm still Lance, I can still do what I want? Yeah, I think so. Um, he knows he's got a lot of support. It's a little bit like, um, people who want second chances with people who've been caught in taking drugs and actually it's been proven he was taking it for years and years and years and years and that the support network around him helped him do that um, so it'd be interesting to know what another actually what the, the guys on the tour actually think about him riding the course before him um, I think he's only doing two or three days but however it's it's taken it's another drug cheat doing something that's going to take the headlines from actually the event itself. The tour should be about the king of the mountains, who's going to get the yellow jersey, who's going to wear the spotted jersey, who's going to go down the Champs-Élysées and win and, you know, etc. But no, it's all going to be about Lance Armstrong and the Tour de France yet again, but it's for the wrong reasons. Um, and again, it's taken away from the biggest story of the sport, which is actually the competition itself. So, um, and obviously then it puts Lance in, he in, the, in the headlines. And they say no publicity is bad publicity. Um, is, I don't know with this one. It's, is, it, is it good or is it, is it bad? Is it good for the sport? Is it good for the tour? Are the tour going to allow him to do it? I don't know. So it would be interesting.